Welcome back to the BSN channel. Today we're making a chicken gizzard curry. So for those who don't know what gizzard is, I can't explain it so well, but it has something to do with the stomach, the muscles in the stomach of certain animals. Um, yeah. So the first step of what I do is I get my pieces, I cut them, um, I wash them thoroughly, and then I put them in lemon water and then I leave it in the fridge. Uh, it has a, a very strong taste gizzard so what I like to do is put a lot of lemon and I've left this for about two hours so now I'm gonna wash this but let's go back to the other ingredients as a whole. What we have here is uh, two large onions chopped, got uh, about eight cloves of garlic, got about two thumbs worth of um, ginger. What we have here is uh, it's up to you how much chili you want. This is a lot of chili, so it's up to you. I use one scotch bonnet, but we didn't have a scotch bonnet. We had this little thing here. That's a little scotch bonnet here. This is some gaff pep peppers, and these are some dried African peppers. So it's a mixture of peppers. You got the jumbo seasonings which will provide the salt. We've got two chopped tomatoes, which we will um, boil so we can evaporate the excess water. We've got ground cumin powder and ground coriander. We've got olive oil and, last but not least, curry powder. Did I say curry powder? Okay, so the first step, as I said, is to chop this Put in, um, wash it and then put it in lemon water. Well, you don't have to, but just make sure you wash it thoroughly. You put off, you cut off the extra fat and stuff. So we'll come back when I've washed this. I'm gonna wash this and then I'm gonna boil, boil this in water. A little tiny bit of water. So we'll come back at that point. Okay, now we've got the gizzard and some water boiling. So we're gonna let that boil and then get on to the next stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna saute the onions and then grind. Uh, the pepper, ginger, garlic. Okay. On. Switch this on. Right now, I'm doing it near high heat for now. This one's spin. This one's right here. You put about three tablespoons of oil. Maybe four, depending on how big it is. Spread it all around. That's heating up, we're gonna go backwards and um, grind this pepper. Got the garlic, got the ginger. You've got your peppers. If you don't have this at home, then just use a blender. Same thing. I like my pepper. Because there's all the uh, salt in this. I'm only going to use half of this. See, uh, let's go back to the pan quickly because that's heating up, so I'm going to put the onions in. Let's come back here quickly. So we're going to let that fry, saute for a while. Let's go back and grind this quickly. Put half of this in. Another thing I 
forgot to do, my mistake. I've got to make these evaporate, so let me put this in this pot right here. Too much water to be left, otherwise, you can suck up the oil and then it becomes watery. Let me continue grinding this. Make sure I do this carefully, properly. Grinding it's not easy to do two, three things at once, that's why it's make sure you take your time and you don't have to do it all at once. But if you feel you can, then there shouldn't be no problem. It doesn't have to be done so fine as long as you get the main ones squashed. So not, nothing too big left when you're grinding. So what? It's good for the mustard. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. Because we like pepper in this house. Well, I don't know about you now. Mm. No, I don't know. liquid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this. I'm not going to get rid of the juice but you can't put all this water in and I have to put this there. I'm going to let it continue boiling. There's not enough oil on this. Don't worry I'll take the water out, uh, the, the oil out during the end. So, this will 
take about five minutes for me to uh, finish boiling the tomatoes and then we're going to add the, the grounded stuff as well. So we'll come back in five minutes because this takes a bit of time as well. Okay, welcome back. The onions are now brown as you can see. They're browning up. It's time to put the tomatoes in. Let me see how far the tomatoes have gone. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're going to put the tomatoes in now. And now I'm going to put the chili in. The ground, well, the grinded stuff. slowly not too fast. You're not going to stir it but you're going to do this. Which is so it's not quite stirring, you're just forcing it. You don't want to stir it too much. Right now, uh, I think that the onions are golden, we've added the tomatoes and the ground, the grinded pepper, ginger and garlic. You can see the water and the gizzard is starting to evaporate, so now we're going to add the gizzard. I'm going to leave the water in there, but I'm not going to throw it. That's juice that we can use for the end. Alright, so. That is a bit high though. So let me put this a bit lower so it doesn't burn in the bottom. So make sure not too much water comes in, so you need the water in there, the juice. Not important to get all of it out, but I have to try and get most of it. Dry, I'm gonna add a bit of uh, liquid in here, so that's enough. Let that bubble in. I'm gonna add the last of the spices now. So what I'm gonna do is move me back a little bit. Cheers. You're welcome. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, tea teaspoon of curry powder. Yeah, that's 
tablespoon of uh, coriander a mad teaspoon of Cumin powder, ground cumin. Wait, let me just show this one. So wait, that was a use for something. Oh. Yep, that was a teaspoon of that. And what was the second thing? You don't have to. Be, that's wait, actually was optional. Was the second thing you used? That was a tablespoon of that. Sorry. So let me just put spill that a little bit. Yeah, a tablespoon of coriander. In this one, mm -hmm. just a tablespoon of uh, cumin. What I like to put in as well, I try and find a, another curry powder that doesn't have salt. So I've got mixed masala. It doesn't have any salt. Mixed masala. It doesn't have any salt in it. I'm gonna add this to it. It's not good. I'm going to put it in lower temperature because I want it to be more simmer. I don't want it to burn in the bottom too much. Uh, see, it's starting to look like a curry now. I'm going to give it a little taste. Yo, yeah, you want to do the honest? I'm good. I have to see the bit. Jump in. Just walk that down Meaning of the juice. I think that's enough. Put a tiny bit more masala. It's not enough. Depends how much masala you want to pin in. Can you guys switch on now? Yes. Just go, please. I can't too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me. I'm scared because I thought I was going to drop the iPad on it. <laughs> then that's it's basically the world's over. Okay, what I do is I put this right into low temperature. So it doesn't burn in the bottom. A tiny bit more water. Well, we really, really need tools then. You yeah. don't have to add water, but this is what I like to do. Make sure it's not too dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to partially close this. I don't want to close it the whole way. But it's a tray. It's about 20 30 minutes, and we should be done. We'll dish out all the rest. So, peace.
paste. Okay, now the sauce is done. Uh, I've taken the oil out, so this is what's remaining. We got our, I've got my basmati rice, a butter in it, and this is what we're choosing to serve it with. It's up to you what you want to serve it. With. You can serve it with beans. It's up to you. Sauce. Then uh, we've got some chicken that we left yesterday. Some chicken wings. Actually, we've got some turkey tail. Yeah. Got a chicken wing. Another turkey tail. I don't think you like that. This is lamb. This is a uh, lamb foot. Do you like this? No, no thanks. And this is another wing. Thanks. That's part of the turkey tail. The rest I'll eat. So in other words, this is the meal. Take zoom in. So you can climb it. Zoom in, but I'm just delicious. <laughs> Yeah, that's enough, don't look too far. So yeah, there you go. You've got um, chicken, gizzard, curry, and rice. With some chicken wings and turkey tail. But the main thing is the gizzard. Um, it's best to, if you don't like stuff like intestines from animals, um, I wouldn't advise having gizzard. But if you're into anything and you want to try something new, please try this. It's very nice. You can smell the coriander from it. It's a really good curry. Or you could do it the African style and not use the coriander. There's a different way of doing it. But anyway, we're going to leave it here. If you like, like. If you dislike, dislike. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Peace. Okay. Welcome back to the BSN channel. Today we're going to be making traditional, well not traditional, let's just say an English bacon and egg sandwich. It's not the most healthy meal, I'm not going to lie, but 